Hey, Corey, I want to do a quick video today to show you what's new in Loomis version 2.4. Now, when I do these Loomis updates, I'm always digging in because Loomis is probably, under the hood, is one of the most complicated action packs that I've ever seen or touched or handled or anything because it's trying to take luminosity masking and tone control and make it not overcomplicated. And it does that. And with each new version, I try to make it do that a little better. So today I'm just going to jump in. We're going to go into Photoshop. There's not a lot of practical like changes in terms of you have to relearn anything. I'm just going to point out a couple things that are new and improved. Let's actually switch to the split screen right here. And I have an image here. I have a couple images. I'm going to go ahead and run the live map. There's been a little bit of rearranging of things to try and make it a little bit more ergonomic in terms of getting the stuff. Uh, the color lumas have been put up a little higher and the luma painters down a little lower. Everything is still mostly the same, except there is a brand new action that I've been working with for 2.4 called Magic Zone Luminosity. And you can see that right down here in the color luma one clicks. But long story short, I have my map and let's show my map. I've also been playing with shortcuts here in the show map. So if you shift control uh, F12, it hides the map and F11 shows the map. And all it's doing is a shortcut that runs these actions. But because when you're using Loomist, you wanna show and hide your map a lot, I think this is gonna be useful. Now, of course, just in case, and I've never been a big fan of putting shortcuts on actions because it might interfere with your shortcuts or other actions because I'm building a workflow for everyone, not just for me. For the record, if you leave button mode right up here and you exit into list mode here, if you right click, excuse me, if you click on an action like show map and then go to action options, you can change or disable this shortcut if it causes you any problems. And let me know if you like using the shortcut or not. Uh, it's kind of an experiment to see if I can make us a little bit more efficient. There were some bug fixes. Um, some, some very great users were reporting to me um, some bugs and stuff that we were having and giving me feedback. So shout out to you guys for that help and for keeping the feedback coming in on Loomist. A few bug fixes to the selections, the skin tones. There's been some updates to things like uh, the help file, the troubleshoot Loomis. Remember, you can click on any of the categories actually and get tips on how to use whatever part of Loomis you're dealing with. So one of the things we just tried to do going forward is always make this as fluid as possible. But if you have a problem, you can always go to signfx.com help, just like you can do with Alchemist or Signature Emulsion, watch videos. And of course, you can always just shoot me an email if you have any more serious problems. Okay, so bug fixes. You'll see here that the tone scale has been updated a little bit as well. And if I select my tone scale, normally I leave it at the bottom, but it can be moved around. Um, I've made it a little more visible. You'll also see we have a nice bar that represents the gradient from pure black to pure white. And most of the time you're just gonna be glancing at your scale, but sometimes you might wanna be moving it around and kind of analyzing your different tones and where they fall at. So don't be afraid to play with that zone scale because over the years I've tried to make it as quick to apply, as quick to build and as useful as possible. And there is a lot of information in this little zone scale. For example, this indicator here, this indicates that red is zone zero, but that last little sliver of black is truly clipped. It's the final 20% of clipped black. And the same if you have pure whites here versus just reds. So these are all useful tools and information. Let me go ahead and hide the map real quick. So we're looking at the image. This new zone magic luminosity is gonna create a really cool group that allows you to have uh, some depth that kind of separates and compresses your tones like in the recent video I just did on tone compression and maximizing your tones. This is kind of a tool for that. You can see it gives us more control over the highlights and you can click. The green layers are on by default so you can click and adjust their opacity to increase the intensity, for example, of the mids and how they're smoothed and boosted. The highlight limiter, look what it's doing here. It's actually taking out and let's show our map and I'm gonna show you what the highlight limiter is doing. You can see that it's pulling those highlights around a little bit and giving us better control over those highlights. Let me hide the map again. And the shadow contrast is bringing some richness into the shadows, but it's actually using blending modes to max and compress those tones to prevent 
clipping. It's a pretty cool action, and I think you guys are going to like it. It fits right in with the one clicks. The beauty of Loomis is you can see and select any tone, but what the one clicks do is they take all the tools that are in Loomis and kind of just give you quick formulas that will build these little packs of layers. Um, and you have some optional layers here, like deeper blacks, like backlight control uh, to give it a little boost and shadow lift. So these are all really useful and all of these are using filtering uh, blending modes so that it's applying those tones to specific zones throughout the action. In fact, let me just go here to this image I was using for a demo a few minutes ago. We'll run that same zone magic. And you can see that this image I did in the pouring rain the other day, it's pretty flat. So I'm gonna do this to bring some contrast in. By default, it gives us contrast, but it's maintaining our dynamic range. It's kind of pushing the blacks to black, the lights to light, but not allowing it to clip into black or white. That almost sounded like a rhyme. Okay, and I'm gonna actually do deeper blacks here. And I'm gonna bring in the highlight control Shadow lift I'm not going to use here because I want those deep rich blacks so that when I go down and do something like a black and white here, let's do the crispy silver and just do a conversion to black and white on this. I get a nice rich black and white image that honestly I think is looking pretty dang good. Okay, so those are some basics of Loomis. Most of the work has been done behind the scenes. Sorry, I'm on this camera. Most of the work's been done behind the scenes so you can just edit better. Things have been tweaked and refined a little bit and these updates apply to the legacy version for CS6 or the CC version uh, for the newer versions of Photoshop. And if you have Loomis, you should have already got an email with your download. If not, you can log into your account and get Loomis 2.4. If you don't have Loomis, head over to simeffects.com and check it out because it's like luminosity masking, but simpler and better and on steroids and more intuitive. And I think you're just really gonna love the control and the power that it gives you over tones. Let me know in the comments if you're having any problems, if there's any bugs, if you're loving Loomis, if you're liking these videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let me know if there's any features you would like to see in Loomis going forward. Each little update that I do in Loomis takes quite a bit of time and quite a bit of research because Loomis is such a deep pack and does such deep edits. And that's kind of why I love it. It's like the nerdy side of me, but what comes out the other side when it's all said and done does really cool things with our tone, but it's so easy to use. And for me, that's what Loomis is all about. Let me know if you guys have any questions on the tweaks, on the updates, and Loomis should be working smoother than ever in version 2.4. All right, peace, guys.